Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another Boom Beach video. Uh, I do apologize for the formatting and the audio on this video, guys. Uh, my power is out currently, and I'm in my car where I can get cell phone service because uh, Bell is also down. So kind of a worst case scenario for YouTube purposes. I got the the dog, Mr. Floki, with me in the background, huffing and puffing. So I'm sure that doesn't sound great, but he's um, he's not having a great time. So I'm going to make this quick. And what we're going to go over today is basically the next uh, tech path, uh, so the next plan. Now, we have been able to collect, for the most part, in Diamond. Um, and for the most part, I mean, we, we haven't dropped out since we made it a few days ago, so that's good news. That actually puts us on track better than last season, because last season I made Diamond uh, fairly early, a lot earlier than I did this season. But I didn't collect any diamond chests until like three or four days left of the season, which was pretty crazy. Um, so if you're in a similar situation, and I know 6CR was very frustrating for a lot of people, um, just keep in mind that the diamond's not as big of a deal. Basically what it works out to is an extra gold chest. Um, I was talking to Average Joe's about this today, so shout out to him for doing the, doing the math. But um, it's an extra two keys per chest now, right? So it evens out or it equals out rather to, let me turn the air off, maybe that's making some background noise, um, it evens out to an extra gold chest every like three days, so I mean it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world, they might get, you know, a, a few paces ahead, the, uh, everyone else that was in diamond early and able to maintain, but it's not something that you, uh, that you really need to stress about, so um, we'll go over the attack in a second, but first I want to talk about the tech tree. I also have not changed this base, and a lot of you were commenting the other day saying that this one was good and it helped you get into diamonds, so um, that's good. Now, with five days and nine hours left in the season, um, we really got to start thinking about end meta. Final end tech. Floki, get out of there, buddy. Don't eat that. Oh, God, that's got treble hooks in it. Please keep your mouth away from that doggy. I don't want to go to the vet. Um... So, yeah, if we skip through the tech tree here, this is what we're working with. Now, the big question was, do we get this building health here first? And I think the answer is no, unless you're not in diamond and you're going to be struggling to get, you know, to the end of the tech tree anyways, then I think pick it up because you're going to be playing on the end of the weekend, um, the end of the last couple of days there anyways. Let's give him something to do. Um, so, yeah. I think the next plan is we want to get to heavy chopper sooner and later. And the reason being is because I'm still fizzling a lot or I'm not finishing the base or when I do, it's a seeker player. Um, so having heavy choppers is going to make six ERs pretty much obsolete, I would think. So that's what I'm thinking. It's, uh, you know, obviously building health would be nice to have, but it's going to set us back an entire full day from getting heavy choppers. And then on that last day like maybe if we were super early to it it would make sense but i don't think it does now because people are just gonna have heavy choppers and they're gonna smoke through the the base no problem for this troop boost we're probably gonna go with bombardier maybe heavy choppers i'm not sure just yet um then we do have building health coming up around the corner we got a lot of good stuff in seven so we got building health down here dbd over here um we got a level three proto there probably go with the damage amp since we've already got the rockets and the dbd um, and we can go artillery, but at this point we'd probably go heavy chopper, maybe to, to DVD and then go back and get the building health would probably be the plan before getting that, uh, that last proto, uh, depending on how the meta shifts and how the bases shape up and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we could also go through bullet and the negative node, but it's, it's not much of a negative node, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but to get building health it would be the same thing we're either taking the scorcher negative or the bullet negative so it doesn't really make sense to take that negative note unless you're a secret player that needed bullet right away um so yeah other than that i mean we've pretty well got everything else in the tree we've backfilled pretty well all of it so i do want to pick up rifles at some point to make second wind stronger but yeah let's show you some of the better hits from today shout out to shrimp salad that was a crazy one um Six four six three. So a lot of people were still fizzling this morning. Um, yeah, this was probably my best hit, and of course he's smashed us. Um, he also didn't have. He also didn't have um, 
Sorry, if Loki's getting bored, he's chewing stuff. Or he's gonna put a hook in his mouth. Just chill out, buddy. Just chill out. It's all good. Um, so this is one of my better hits. Let's go over this one. And here's how I'm starting out these hits now, guys. So I'm going 3-3 three, three Heavy Bombardier from the bottom. And some people were saying not to use Laser Rangers. Um, I think that's fine. As long as you're able to clear out the mines, because that's really going to be the problem. Um, you can do 4-4 four, four Heavy Bomber, too. That's definitely a viable strategy right now. I just don't think it's as good. Floki, buddy, you're driving me nuts. Just chill out. Um, I don't I don't think it's as good as um, the Laser Rangers, because even though it is a bit riskier using them, they're pretty fragile. Um, when they work, they, they absolutely take out this part of the base super quickly, and they can get, like, Doom Cannons or stuff in the back there, so it's worthwhile to have them. And I feel like th three boats of bombers is lots of bombers. An extra boat doesn't really do anything, you know, more for us, uh, in my opinion, really, so... Um, that's what we've been working with. And you see right there too, I like to throw the, uh, the defibs in the back. We can do different things with the defibs. Um, I've seen some players that got scorchers, they use the defib up here and they throw scorchers right into all those engine rooms. Stop chewing, buddy. Um, and they throw scorchers in all the engine rooms, which is really interesting because it, uh, it totally blocks out everything. Um, yeah, so that can definitely be a good way to go. And let's let this play out here. So the big key with this attack is to try to keep these two bombers alive. I should be shocking there. That was very close to not being on time. Um, and if we can keep those guys alive to take out that shock launcher and without having to split the troops over on the right hand side, then we're usually in for a pretty good time. Then all we're really worried about is the hot pot. You see, I tried to shock it there. I actually could shock that hot pot if I hit that one perfectly, but I just missed it. Um, and we could have hit the shock launcher and the hot pot, which would have been sweet. But unfortunately, we missed it. Um, I think I actually fizzled on this attack. I think I left one up. Or no, I didn't. This was a this was a full clear because this was a seeker guy. Um, yeah, and then just throwing in remote defibs back there. And then you've just got to be able to judge when you're ready to flare because um, obviously flaring one of the engines is going to take them down a little bit faster rather than just free clearing everything right so um yeah we're pretty well at that point right now and i will show you this guy's seeker attack for any of you guys using seekers out there uh with bullet it is, seekers definitely came back very strong and they're able to get through under the sky shield and he can kind of distract everything uh with clustered bases and seekers that's not really you know what we want to have so ideally we would have just if we were really struggling against seekers i would move one of the engines out probably over here um that's what most of those bases are built for it's for anti-seeker um so yeah we'll show his hit because he had a crazy one almost three minutes so same thing same idea at the start anyways to clear out the mines so he's mostly worried about the shock mines with bullet and he throws one boat of seekers in there just mostly as mine clearers and then he flares bullet over to that boom cannon okay let's see this and then he's got a defib in there with the with the rifleman and yeah that's the one thing that this base is missing is i don't have really any splash damage in the back i got the one flamethrower so as long as he's able to get his seekers there and get them away from the hot pot then that's pretty well ggs at that point so um yeah there's how to seek her what we're thinking on the tech tree next and yeah that's pretty well it guys that's pretty well it i don't know if we had really anything else to go over here and yeah so you, you guys let me know what you think down below in the comments uh if you are just by chance watching this video for the first time ever on this channel just check back the other ones they're not usually this bad again i do apologize guys thank you for bearing with me uh we should be back to your regularly scheduled programming tomorrow um just tonight this was the best i could do is either this or nothing so appreciate you guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel we also had before we sign off here we had some stuff in the shop ketchup we're not gonna watch that ad we had uh yeah i don't know why these were in but um let's see are they are they good offers 10 million resources that's actually not bad for 14 dollars um the gold safe it's always good value ketchup hq level 26 okay so those are actually pretty decent so i do appreciate it if you guys are going to grab those if you throw that code check in the shop 
Thank you again, guys. Appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Chicken out. Back, 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 back.